Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the KDL. We just saw a magically epic game between Pokerface and MVP Hot Six, and went the distance and went to the late late game. And Pokerface just had better execution, better late game, better team fighting, especially with that uh, with the Refresher Ravage well, and Reaper Scythe. Reaper Scythe, man, that was the name of the game. Yeah, Reaper Scythe. Okay, you're right, Con. Reaper Scythe did the trick. Like, Reaper Scythe made that happen. Even from the first few minutes, man, like his supports are getting killed like eight minutes in, and I have like 50 seconds before they can even respond. Like, yeah. It's yeah. like so much time you're not farming, you're not moving on the map, you're not getting experience. Yeah, they, they removed a, lo a lot of supports from the game for a long time, and yeah, you're absolutely right there. But yeah, then that game, okay. Reaper Scythe. When, when you I get that Aghanim, it gets disgusting. Yeah. I think they also made. Kind of uh, maybe it's something not not much experience playing against in the Agonim's Necrofoss, but not buying items. Yeah. Like saving for buyback when there is an uh, Agonim's Necrofoss on enemy team. And when you're gonna be the obvious target, like they're not gonna reprocite like anything else than like yeah. say the Amber or Morphing. So. Yeah. No, you're definitely right there. Rather have items and maybe survive. Yeah, that's a good point. And it definitely, definitely was the biggest problem here in the last game here, but we'll have to wait and see exactly how Hot Six are going to take this one on as the picks and bans are underway. Poker Free is going to be banning up first. Last time they banned Razor. Getting time. rid of that Brewmaster straight up. Uh, like, none of that. And Razor. Razor. Oh. I think uh, Viper would have got banned previous uh, first phase. Previous first phase. So my, we'll have to see. Yeah. Uh, again, this pad very open. There is a uh, actually, Tower Blade has been a little bit booed, like, very really ignored uh, the last... I've noticed this, since, since the last nerf to yeah. these illusions. It's a pretty big nerf, but I think it's still it's still uh, playable, still viable. Yeah, I, I noticed that for sure. It's a bit of a shame. He's, like, such a fun hero to watch and such a cool hero in general. Yeah, no, well. yeah, it looks so cool, man. Like, when cool he uses Metamorphosis, like, yeah, I'm big bad Tower Blade. Bring me right back to Walker up 3, man. Yeah, man. Oh, I missed that too much. <laughs> and, yeah, Scarath, ban. This time they don't, they don't, they're not gonna pick it up. Yeah. So first play, that profit is in the pool. Pokerface likes it. They could get it. Um, they could if they want. I just hope there is no more uh, that first pick uh, Amber things. Uh, I don't think Amber is a good first pick here. It's too easy to, to yeah, deal with. Yeah, I agree with you, Karen. I, I, I definitely feel like it's one of the later ones, third or fourth. Yeah, like when you have a good Amber game, then yeah, okay, you can go. But like. I mean, P and enemy team already forces you to get an MKB. Usually, it's not a bad item, but it's not what you want to get. And oh, they go for again so, tied first. That was tied. I mean, why not? It did such great work last game. Yeah, and also well, I think they're doing it to deny it from Hot Six and Hot Six again. Wow, straight straight pick Amber. All right, I guess they're really confident in it, and they, they didn't feel like Baby. the Amber pick was not the problem, and it probably was not. Yeah, but, uh, it was a combination, I think. Yeah, but yeah, like it allowed. Uh, Poker face to get too much of what they wanted. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, he, he did. He had a good early game, but he couldn't really do much after that because the PA is, uh, as I said, pretty good against Ember. Mm. Early game maybe not, but as soon as you get later later parts of the game where uh, her invasion actually kicks in. Yeah. Uh, like there's not really that much of a threat, and uh, she's a big threat to Ember. Mm. Uh, every single he gets stuns one time with like one crit, and he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, I think they're going to go for something similar. They need like some uh, big uh, physical burst. Like uh, PA, for example, has that. Clinks, I think, shield the best. Way you to you do and your clinks, Karn. Dude, man. You and your clinks. I want to see it too. Don't, uh, I don't see get it, me wrong. Man. I want to see it. I, no. I, know, I don't know. The thing is, like, I don't know if Poker Face plays it. I don't think they have a clinks player. And if even if they have one, it's probably not. It's probably not going to have an ex experience to use it very well. Yeah. But at least them as a team. I guess it's not a hero they run, so. I wouldn't yeah. expect them to pick him. Yeah, this time oh, we disruptor. grab Disruptor, okay. Yeah, okay. This yeah. will work uh, very, very well against Nimber as well. Yeah, so they already have a... He's basically forced into a BKB. Tied Disruptor, you don't get a BKB. There's no way you're leaving. Yeah, no, no doubt about that. Glimpse just does so much work in kinetic field. And yeah, we didn't have talk, but Mirana first pick. Yeah. Mirana well, you know, pick. that's that's Mirana. You're always going to see Mirana. We don't know what's going to be there. Could be that safe lane Mirana. Could be a support Mirana. Yeah, and they're doing the same thing they did last game, Poker Face, that is. They're banning hard carries. Uh, they, they can go... Yeah, I get with the Spectre straight up. Hmm. Yeah. Like, Disruptor is pretty good against Spectre, though. If he, if he, when he yeah. hunts in, you can just glimpse him back. Yeah, that's, that's so true. Yeah, it's interesting. 
485, the uh, other support player for Pokeface. Played Venge. Had a quiet game. Yeah. No, no, not nothing, swaps. nothing outstanding, but nothing. He had some, had some swaps that saved. Uh, yeah, he did his job. Yeah. He's this I mean, the silent a, support hero. Yeah, as a Venge, I feel. What are you going to do? Beside early, early game rotations, maybe. And just the clutch swap. Yeah, just the swaps, man. Just sitting here waiting to save your teammates. Yep. Yeah. Waiting know, to yeah. give your life for your team. And, uh, okay, yeah, they did pr pretty much the same kind of, same bands. Getting rid of Medusa. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the same sort of bands here. Interesting that they get this. More worried about the the carries than anything else. I'm very, very interested to see what we're going to see Pokeface go again. I wonder if we are going to see the PA again. I'd like to see it again. Uh, I, li I like PA. I like PA, but... PA did great. PA always does great, man. You just get a crit. Get a crit, you're done. You're good. Get a crit, man. Yeah. 50% chance you get four attacks on your blink, so there's a lot of chances. Yeah, there's a happen. lot of chances. No, no doubt about that. And yeah, Necrophos back. None of this again. We not. We <laughs> want to buy back, man. Give me our. Give us oh, our back. Oh, Shadow Demon. So that old school combination coming in here with Marana, oh, yeah. Shadow Demon. Might be the support duo actually. It might be yeah. Marana, Shadow Demon, and just roam around. Yep. No, I love this combination as well. Mm -hmm. I think, the, I think they're, gonna need, they're gonna need the very. They cannot get a melee carry. This is, this is not an option, not only as a type. Or at least. Need, uh, I mean, there's not. Nah, nah. They, sh they should get like a range carry. That's why I think that's what they went for the morphing last game. Ah, you uh, think maybe like a reason. lunar or something? Luna is uh, pretty good, yeah. Really like because cool. this time they don't have, they don't even have a good uh, support to zone the tide out. Yeah, they, they cannot really do it. So I think they're gonna have to either go for kills on him or uh, just completely let the carry one v one against the tide. Mm. Uh, so they need a hero that's very independent. Because if they don't get much from the Shadow Demon Priestess duo, then it's eh. And you don't really want to solo Marana against the tide. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a support Marana. Okay. All right, waiting for the third pick of Poker Face now, and it is going to be an Abaddon. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Is it going to be dual lanes? I think it might be dual lanes. Actually, it's a very good pick. It's pretty good because uh, whenever you get disrupted with the arrow, you can just shield. Okay. Yeah. Shield, heal, miss coil. Yeah. yeah, it's actually a great. Right here, I actually love seeing about it. The only problem, like uh, Abaddon, is like a very passive support, so you cannot really get active on the map with it. It's just here to counter gank and uh, bait out your uh, teammates. If, if, he be, if he's like a core, like if he's like has some items, yeah, he could be. A he core, can just right? chase people down, man. Yeah, he could be a core, but uh, I don't think you've seen this. I want to see it, man. Usually, it's Fabi who plays uh, Abaddon. Last time I saw, yeah, last time I saw them run Abaddon, Fabi was playing it, oh, and yeah. they had like a hero that could make use of it. Whoa, Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit. The carry storm? Oh. Huh. Might be. Might be a safe plane storm and they're gonna play uh, they're gonna play very, very aggressive this time. They're not gonna be like okay, do they AFK farm? This yeah. time it's gonna be alright, we're gonna fight through like you just seeing Earth Spirit next and we're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they're making the spirit team. They're making the spirit team. Then they then they choose then they like get a brewmaster and like primal split as well and it's like Actually, gets that's, ridiculous. Yeah, that's why they banned it, man. This side, the, the, the side, the side coming. They saw, they saw the, this side coming, man. Yeah. First page is not in the port in the CM though, so. No, oh, that's the, right. So can't. Why is it not yet in the uh, the CM, man? I don't know. It's been uh, it's been out for a very long time now. Yeah, but I don't want to be CD this hero in, in CM. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's annoying. It'd be annoying here, that's for sure. Maybe that's why they're like, you know what, this hero is just super annoying to watch and play against, so let's just not put him in. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're maybe when they're sure about the more uh, comfortable with its balance, I guess. Yeah. It's not when it's not gonna be too good or not too bad. These days, it's very hit or miss. Yeah. So if you have a good player, it can work, but it's pretty difficult to play it uh, as effect as effectively as before. Uh, the nerves. Pokeface going for that fourth pick. It's going to be the Morphling this time. Oh, and this time for wow. Pokeface. So Pokeface definitely going for that late game advantage here. Yeah, it might be a yeah, dual lane, like Abaddon, Morphling, and uh, Asher. No, no, this is not trying it. Mm, yeah, I think they're trialing it. Mm. It's hard to say, actually. That's yeah, it's hard to say because uh, Abaddon is pretty decent uh, in dual lanes, for example. We put him with the Tide, I guess. Yeah, it was kind of awkward. Mm. Yeah. 
It may, maybe if it was like a, a Weaver or something, it'd be much better. No, yeah, for example. Yeah. I love seeing uh, like Weaver. I love, Abaddon. Yeah, I love seeing Weaver in general. Also. Yeah, Weaver with uh, Ancient Apparition and Abaddon. Like, you're good to go. Oh, oh God, you're living forever and you're doing sick damage. Yeah. That's yeah, last band. Yeah. Gonna have to ban the mid hero. Uh, I mean, mid or carry. But yeah. Because I still don't know, it could be a mid, uh, mid uh, morphing. It could be a safe lane morphing. It could be. It could be. And they're going to get rid of Puck, so they are kind of still scared of the mid lane. I mean, Puck is pretty good against Storm. Yeah. Because obviously, big side, you have silence. So. Yeah, good against Storm, good against Ember. Yep. Jumps on him. They're in a bit of trouble. Yeah, and also. Uh, and I guess they're going to get rid of an offlaner at the very least for. Uh, yeah, phase. unless uh, they want to go aggressive and have like, they could go, yeah, because they could go aggressive, uh, Rana, it. SD, and uh, someone else, and have uh, Storm mid, and, and like Storm and Ember both have solo lanes, and yeah, no, it's Elder, be, okay. All right. And Elder Titan is actually a very good pick here. It's uh, extremely good against uh, Morphing. Uh, when you morph all, all, you morph all your Aegis, you have like a ton of armor because of it. Mm. Mm. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter when you have a Titan. You have zero armor, man. Yeah. You're morphing, you have zero armor with a yeah. Titan. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Zero armor, like 700, like 1k HP? No, you're not gonna leave. You're gonna die. Yeah, man. So. But I have to see that last pick for Pokerface. Very last pick. What are they gonna do? I guess they're gonna go for another. Mm. Euro. Like, they, they need some. Yeah. I think it's like they don't. I guess morphing, uh, morphing is fine against Ember and oh, dude. Ooh. Okay, so it's like Abaddon is gonna be that support. Unless yeah. we see like a jungle doom or something. It could be a mid doom actually. Mid doom, maybe. Mid doom is possible. And okay, so JYU, I've seen him go mid with doom again. He could be offering too. How would doom do against the, uh, for instance, an Ember? Roger is gonna be the stone spirit actually. Oh yeah, so gotta be carry Ember then. Oh, I don't like that though. You didn't like that kind. You said that last game. Like, yeah, I remember. But I mean, they have Storm or Ember. You gotta choose. Yeah, uh, I mean, Carry Storm seems a little bit weirder than a Carry Ember there. No, I think Carry Storm is safe and Storm is pretty fine. Man. I yeah. think it's pretty good. I, I've like never seen that. Uh, I've did it a bunch of times. I've seen some of the teams. I think we did it too. Yeah. Back there, you know, in the Hispanic session, so. It's sure. interesting. It's an interesting uh, yeah, kind of thing to go about. But here we go. Game two is loading, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be in it very, very shortly. Second game of Poker Face versus Hot Six. Can Hot Six tie things up, or are they going to go down 2-0 to Poker Face to start this season off? Zombie rushing. Zombie rushing hardcore here. He's like yeah. already there to pass his board. He's not wasting any time at all. He's gonna wait here for a little bit. Oh no, he just puts it there. No, he doesn't care. He's getting things done. And yeah, so oh they maybe they, yeah, they're expecting an aggress aggressive triumph. Yeah. So it is gonna be the Doom mid on JYU. We're gonna see uh kinda like safe lane tide hunter. And it is gonna be an aggressive try for Poker Face. Interesting. I think yeah. I mean, Ember is uh, pretty weak in a try, try on try situations. We just focus him down. Yeah. Not much he can do, especially level one. He has nothing. He brings nothing. Just searing chain for like one second. Yeah, that's okay. absolutely nothing. Level one is like probably the weakest hero. Yeah, he will die horribly. Especially this kind of lineup. Yeah. Rana has some cool set. Ever seen? Oh, really? I was, I was watching. Yeah, man, it's just like a Wow, Doom just always just looks freaking cool, man. It doesn't matter. He always it, says it's like his default set is also amazing. Like, my Doom is pretty badass, man. Yours? Yeah, my, mine is pretty badass. Mine's pretty cool too, man. I actually bought a, uh, a set for Doom. Uh, I actually, would, I totally buy like the uh, Arcana. There's a Doom Arcana. I, I think I saw oh. like maybe it was like a one for the future or something. I think sure. it, I actually it might have been even be an EG one, like planned for the future or something. Ah, uh, it's not out yet. No, yet. Oh, no, okay, no, okay. Yeah. Is it like the, uh, you know, the development oh, okay, sort okay, of okay. thing? Yeah, it looked uh, amazing there. Well, I'll check. Yeah, man, but uh, that's a lot of money. So. Uh, Sunbi against Tide. Tide's gonna cross that lane. Yeah. Tide played by Fabi again, or uh, I'll check. 
Yeah, I think it. I think it yeah, is. Yeah, Febby again. Yeah, Febby again. Roji already taking some harassment up top. Yeah, like Roji solo there. Uh, He's gonna have a bit of a rough time. And uh, the support seal we're seeing in the jungle, are trying to find something. They're gonna rotate mid most probably uh, from uh, MVP. Yeah, looking for that disruption. Go. Oh, yeah. JYU is the target here. JYU, he probably, I think he has, might have an ID because he's not. Wow, he's really defensively. He, he knows he's like the supports are missing. Obviously, yeah. they're up to something. Yeah, he's got eight armor with. Uh, <laughs> no, he got the. He got ice. the creep. Yeah, so he's actually. Uh, pretty yeah, safe. no, he's not. Oh, he has eight armor. He's not. Dying, That's man. insane. He's actually not dying. I mean, the try. Yeah, he's not dying. No, Raji you getting very low. It's not a good start for the, for them. No, they're really zoning him out. Anyway, uh, Jube did pretty pretty good mid against uh, I guess Doom is actually crushing him for now. Yeah, so far so good here. Yeah, it looks mad. like they were they were trying for the Tide Hunter here. It's already not looking good for MVP. Like the the supports are not accomplishing anything. No, not at all. So far, they I mean it's such a old ah. school kind of lineup. I guess they're putting pressure on them. At least they're, they're always missing, so they're nobody knows pressure. if they're safe. They don't know if they're safe. Like Pebby, look, he has like once he has to. Almost 10. Yeah. Or somebody, somehow. Yeah. So no. matchup he should win, because, I mean, you know, how are you gonna. You can still farm with the spirits, but even then, like, Anchor Smash is so good. Yeah, it's so strange. I guess he's just really paranoid about the uh, the rooming. Yeah, supports. like, look, he went to check for them. He's like, uh, he's I don't like, see, oh, we don't they're... see them. We can't just walk walk there and st start farming. Then we can't. Yeah. We're gonna die, give up first blood, and I mean, they're gonna try, no? No, I don't think they can. He's actually taking huge damage from the tower. And yeah, so I mean, the laning phase isn't going too horribly for MVP. It's just that threat of the disruption arrow is just too strong. Yeah, like just passive damage. Okay, like they're gonna switch around. Okay, okay, Raji, I got my, I got a good start. We're gonna switch out the lanes. I guess he has his. Uh, oh no, he doesn't have. A soaring. So. Yeah, so he's gonna do a storm against uh, Titan. It's much better for. Uh, for Storm this time. Oh, yeah. to deal with the you cannot do anything, I guess. A batter? I'm down as well there. Well, uh, this. Well, yeah, this arrow. Yeah, disruption. Arrow coming. Arrow coming. Arrow whiff. Oh my. Oh. That was. Athletic up. shield. You sure you want to be hitting that? Yeah, he, he doesn't have <laughs> leap. He can. He take a lot of damage here. Anchor He's smash. Disruption, man. He has boots too, so. So he's just gonna do lane, yeah, it looks like it is gonna end up the dual lane, and you know what? I called a bad end tight hunter. You remember that, Khan? Yeah, yeah, man. I'm feeling great about yeah, this man. already, man. Dude, it may seem like all right because this, this <laughs> I think Moonga's strategy is gonna work well here. <laughs> it totally, absolutely. Ember's still doing very, very well in mid there. I mean, yeah. well, uh, 12 for Doom, not, not horribly behind, but yeah, it's just the pressure that the supports put uh, early on by rooming. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it didn't work, so, okay, they, they did, like, uh, indirect uh, economical damage, but beside that, like, nothing big. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna catch up fast, like, Doom already catching up a little bit. Uh, Tide gonna catch up soon enough, I guess. Yeah. Morphling, uh, Morphling having a great time. Yeah. Morphling is, uh, is maybe the same, same kind of game Jube had, spawning. Yep. Oh, oh, damage, man. man. There's a lot of damage. Sunbeat doing work. Even with the support there, they're just not confident enough. It's like the best like laning sort of uh, creep to steal, I think. Oh, nice whiff there. I mean, nice dodge, <laughs> sorry, not a whiff. It was horrible, nice whiff. horrible whiff. Great dodge there from JYU. I don't know if he actually would have died anyway. I mean, not with nine armor like that. No, nah, but I think the best creep can get is the wolf, alpha wolf. Uh, if you nope. get it yeah. level one, it's, it's insane. You, no, cannot, you, can't, you can't use the lane, especially yeah. against a melee like this. You just right to him. Yeah, that's true. That's and very he can true. Fight you. So easy to farm, so easy to pressure. This one is fine too. Uh, yeah, defensively, it's very good. Very hard to get kills. Uh, level one when you have like eight armor. It's like an ogre, basically. Mm. Well, actually, much better than an ogre. is like. Like one KHP already. He, he just got his level six, so there's potential. There's a lot of potential there, that's for sure. And uh oh, four eight five runs into nuts. Oh, nice clip backs as well. And this could actually be a doom. Yeah, it's da definitely guaranteed first blood here. They should definitely give it to the doom as well. And he gets it very nice. JYU picks it up.
Yeah, it's gonna make up for the rough early game they had. Uh, oh, yeah. Didi Rune, oh, you don't want to be here, Jubei. Oh, yeah. Jubei, a little too close for comfort here. Tight not having uh, the best time, but uh, he doesn't really care. He's there. He doesn't need the best time to come online, but yeah. It's not as bad as you would think. No? Oh, haste? Oh, he doesn't have mana. I could have still. Mm. Yeah, did he undo him, so no, no chance. Yeah, no chance of that. I mean, Roger is definitely catching up slowly but truly, but man, he's had a rough start. Still waiting with that soul ring as well. Yeah, yeah, he's going for it. Since the uh, Bloodstone changed, so. Soul ring now is uh, gonna be uh, standard on Storm. Some players like to get it, some players like to just. Not, not didn't like it so much, like I was never getting soaring, but I think now there's no reason not to. Yeah. Since it's a uh, competent for the uh, for the bloodstone. Yeah, getting yeah. pretty low actually. Yeah, getting pressured a lot by this uh this elder Titan with soaring and just spam this all day. And I have to wait for the one minute to get a rune maybe. Or he has to ball crow. Yeah. Tranquil Boots online as well. Whoa, that is getting way too late for comfort. He's gonna TP out actually. Yeah, TP out, ready to uh, come back on the replicate. And there's a soul ring for the storm spirit finally. And oh, so we see a kinetic uh, no, field. No, oh, arrow whiffs again. Oh, big damage <laughs> onto Sunbi. I don't know if he can get away from this one. Wayfield's gonna catch up, no problem at all. Uh, oh, he's pretty fast though. He's gonna be faster now, so. Oh, wow. Okay, barely gets away. It's gonna keep him back for a while though. Doom is online again. They could look for something else here. Oh, but he's gonna be very, very careful. And oh. error connects. Oh, and this is gonna be too. this is gonna be a kill. Maybe? Oh. Doom! He's gonna go for a uh, bit of a payback here, and uh, I think he's gonna get denied. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely done there. That's a kill for uh, Jubei. Kill for Jubei. Doom wasted. And uh, it's still like. Murano died. I guess it's something. Something's gone. More things being, being really pressured by this uh, zombie. Like, he cannot just sit there and free from like Jubia was doing last game. Yeah, there is a great deal more pressure this game on the Morphling. No doubt about that. And uh, yeah, I think it's definitely gonna add up when it gets to the mid game here. Like, this Morphin is simply just not going to be online like it was last game. And granted, there wasn't much, pre uh, there wasn't much presence on the map yeah, last, ma uh, last game either. Yeah, I'm to see how he's going to play. He's going to try to involve himself more. Which, uh, in this case, he probably should, because otherwise, he's having a, a bad one. So. Yeah, that's a good tune. Uh-oh, 4 8 uh, 5 completely caught out here. He's, he's not getting away. Him. Oh, he got saved. And there's no matter on Jubei if he... Uh, but he don't have... We don't have enough follow up. Got a magic stick here. Gets healed up from Miss Coil as well. Oh, that's a win for, uh, for uh, Pokerface. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Great survivability there. I was expecting the uh, Disruptor to just get blown up. Meanwhile, Mirana's getting some uh, some XP middle uh, while uh, Drube rotated. Yeah. But uh, she has to be careful because he's a Doom in uh, five seconds. And he's gonna just farm. I think he's gonna go for it. He has everything ready. Yeah, he might as well. He could go for it. Especially since they just spot bottom, so I don't think they can react in time. But he decides not to. Meanwhile, oh, oh, oh Storm. Storm comes in, MP in huge trouble here. I don't know if he can get away from this one. Amber Spirit finishes it off. Sunbee. Dominating that lane, doing very, very well for himself. Yeah, it's Max Natural Aura or something. Morphing takes a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So all it takes is a very, very simple rotation from Storm Spirit. Like basically against an ET, like Morphing always has their armor. Because he either has a... Uh, no strength, uh, I mean, full strength, so he has no Agi, or uh, or he's a uh, full Agi and there's the Aura anyway, so mm. it's a tough position for him to be in, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, seems like there's a TP top again, Morphine coming back, smoked Febby. They're gonna probably try to get a go on Storm, but uh, do they have the damage? I think with the Ravage Mate they might have. You're gonna have we're gonna have to harass a little bit before. Yeah. It's like Doom has been caught out here. Searing chains. Arrow hits as well. It's oh. gonna be another kill. Big mistake standing still. 
down. There's Ravage is gonna use it. Oh, Ravage a Potic Shield. That goes off. Oh, so much damage. And his uh, Earth Spitter is gonna. Oh, yeah, it ends up just being a horrible engagement it's overall be for four, Burger Face. Probably four dead for this. Four uh, zero. Disruptor is getting really caught out. He's under the uh, towel here. And yeah, Ember's going deep. Oh he gets the gosh. kill. Triple kill for Drew Bay. Wow. Four zero. And Ravage wasted. Ravage wasted. Uh, six to four now. MVP Hot Six with the commanding lead. And a great pickoff there. Great team fight. TP in up uh, in mid. Dude comes back. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, this is uh, not looking good. Not looking uh, good at all. I'm curious what DLA is going to get. He's uh, just a casual bracer, maybe. He's going to go straight for the blink. Sure. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Morphing rotated back to bottom. Left uh, top lane. Uh, like some free farm, easy, free, f safe, free farm to get, and uh, Jube very farm. Face boost, drums, bottle, stick. Already 900 gold, so yeah. he's, he's going for uh, maybe like 16 minute battle free, I guess. Could be if he farm, keeps farming. This raid gets kills. Yeah, well, a triple kill definitely helps out a lot with that. Yeah, and morphing though. Oh, but he could be caught out here. Doom online as well. He's caught in the Roshan pit. He ain't getting out of here. Kinetic Field says no yeah, he's as well. Got, he's he wants to he's trying to deny himself, but I don't know if he's going to let it happen. No. Oh, Moonlight Shadow as well. Miss Coil finishes the job. But here comes the Elder Titan. He doesn't want to stop. So he's going to dive into oh, three. Oh, so much damage. Gets a right click. And he's going to get out with his life as well. He's going to keep fighting too. Uh, does he really want to? Oh, so much damage on the Shadow Demon. He defensively disrupts, but uh, they're just waiting for it to kill. And they're gonna get more kills with this. Nice echo no? oh, Maybe. Uh, who's gonna die is the next question. It's it's so hard to see, so hard to tell. I mean, Ty other Titan can uh, can afford to do this. He's yeah. pretty fast, pretty tanky. Oh, whoa! That was weird. That was close. That was close. At least he makes space for uh, MP to farm a little bit and catch up. Yeah. But uh, so he's not, he's not uh, having a good time this game. No, not at all. It's not as good as he as Jube had last time. Yeah. It was just no pressure so whatsoever on him. No, Sami just hunting Morphling. Whenever it's Morphling and lane, Sami's like, hey, I'm here too. Coming for you. Oh, me. down goes the Tidehunter again. We got the, the tail end of that. Ember getting another kill. Yeah. This is why, this is why it's much better. Okay, they, they, they know that Ember much better as a mid in 1v1 matchup instead of having to go lane. Oh, they're going to try? Oh, no, they're, they're thinking sense. about it. Demonic cast. Uh, just, they're just pressuring him. Just pressuring. <laughs> oh, here we go again. There's so much damage, actually. This is ridiculous. Is he actually going to get a kill on this? We see some TB as well as about in there, so he shouldn't die. And Elder and Shadow are going to have to get out. Nice glimpse. glimpse. Kinetic Field. Static Storm. He ain't going anywhere, and he's going to go down. Fairly sure about Wait. that. Waveform finishes the job. Shadow does a mech, too. He's a mech on the Elder Titan. I didn't notice. Yeah. So he gave the kill to, uh, to MP. He was a killing spree, so. Yeah. Again, the arrow is not the arrow. Oh, the arrow hits. The arrow hits again. This is not good at all. Doom is going to go down once again, getting caught up for the third time from the arrow and chains combination. This Doom is not working out for them. Yeah, this Doom is not yeah, They got one kill the first round of Mirana, and beside that, like, not a single Doom has done it. Not good. Nice arrow as well. Yeah. You can't turn it around. Not with the uh, tower constantly bombarding the Ember Spirit. Raji, gonna go straight. Oh, oh, wait a second. Huge ravage, and Ember goes, comes back and dies. I believe that was a glimpse. Yeah, that was a glimpse. We heard the glimpse, but we didn't get to see it. And now Storm Spirit is really deep as well. Yeah, I wanted to finish out the tight, but they didn't get up. Yeah. And yeah, Storm going for a straight uh, Bloodstone, which uh, I think is good because there's a Doom in the enemy team. So I don't, I don't, I really don't like going like. Uh, Straight Orchid uh, when you play against a Doom because you're gonna get Doom anyway. Uh, obviously, the Doom's gonna be for uh, for the storm. Yeah. And uh, if you just go on Orchid, you're gonna have well, too little HP. You can't survive. You're just gonna get destroyed. But if you have the Blossom, not only you get a lot of stats, you might you're gonna have more, most probably you can't survive it. And also, even if later on in the game they kill you with a 
with the Doom, you're gonna have a Bloodstone, so you're gonna be back really quickly. And uh, yeah. it's gonna make the impact of that spell much, much... Uh, it's not gonna impact the game as much as uh, if you, you don't have the Bloodstone. Mm. Okay. And here we go again. Another engagement coming up here. Doom leading the way. Disruption goes down. Here comes the arrow as well. Hits. No, just misses. Great echo stomp. And gets another little stun off here. Doom is going really deep though. Jumps right in. Apotic shield is on him. Yeah, but no vision. No vision whatsoever. Oh, it's okay. Morphling is farming the whole time. Uh, Finally some space for the Morphling. He is catching up quite considerably yeah, actually. Yeah, he's like 2k uh, golds. A little bit more 2k golds away from his uh, limpings. Doing very well for himself. She's gonna be very good in this game. Yeah. And while this is all happening, still, everyone in the jungle is just waiting to try and uh, take a kick. Ember wants to go deep. There's three of them there, though. Nice arrow. Hits the oh, drop there, actually. Very, very nicely oh, done. They're gonna finish him off. In comes the Storm Spirit, does the trick. And there's a Morphling, though. Morphling's actually yeah, really caught deep here. Can they actually get rid of him? Uh, he wants to get a kill on that Raji. Oh, nice Doom. Oh, but the mech comes up. He's in, oh, but oh, the, the glimpse of, solves everything. Kinetic Storm. And Juve 2 is going to die. They're both going to die. Oh, oh where is he? He's going to follow him. Oh, okay, he can bottle oh, up. Oh, he can. Turns things around. 10 to 7 now. They're giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get anyone else. You know, in the end, just uh, don't, stone, uh, stone dies. They have to use, like, Doom and uh, Glimpse, Kinetic Field. Yeah. Static Storm too. So it's okay. Jube barely escapes. But yeah, this Elder Titan uh, thing we haven't thought of, uh, talked about, but the uh, Elder Titan plus uh, Ember, extremely strong together because uh, obviously you remove all the armor hmm. and also you can uh, set up the Echo Stomp with the Slide of Fist Searing Chain combo. Right. So this Searing Chain and all in place, you can uh, Earth Splitter, Echo Stomp, everything, nothing's gonna miss. Yeah, that's you very, know, guaranteed very two targets no matter what. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Morphling way too deep here. He's going to be so careful with himself. And in comes the Storm Spirit Storm, Storm, coming yeah. from the other end here, spending all his mana. Yeah, just that's... That's actually craziness here. And Tidehunter drops the Ravage and a very, very Storm important doesn't time. Mana, no. Storm doesn't have mana now. Storm doesn't have mana. Spirit just caught completely out. He is going down for sure, but he gets the Abaddon. Maybe he's going to... No, he's gonna. Oh, oh, he's gonna baby. Yeah, he's maybe? gonna get. He's gonna get right quick. Right no, quick. he's gonna anchor smash him. Yeah, anchor smash. Oh, but okay, oh, please. never mind then. Same time, Stormfur trying to get away. Moonlight Shadow is activated, and he, he will barely get away. Oh, uh, I didn't have. Uh... Same time, I think we did see a glimpse of Marana. Yeah, but she got out. She got out. She got out. That's for long. No, she's gonna try and do. So oh, almost get some damage on the wall thing. Let's yeah, with the spirit, it would have been the kill. Yeah. The yeah. aura was here, I think it was a kill. Yeah, I think so. 12 for 9 now. Constant fighting down bottom. Yeah, but they, they lost the tower eventually. Yeah. Finally went down. But they had to fight for this tower. Man. They, had, they, had, they, they had to fight yeah, twice. Yeah, that was yeah. a big. That was a, that was a war for that tower. Yeah. Well, finger tonight. Nice. And uh, yeah, Lincoln's not far off. 800 gold. Yep, very, very close. More harassment under the uh, Morphling. Storm 2 not very far after his uh, Bloodstone. He needs, uh, he needs like uh, 2300 gold and he has it. Okay. Uh, not no, too 13, far now. 13, no, even. Yeah, no. He's gonna be faster than this. Yep. Almost like They will likely see the Orchid, right? You think that'd be the next step after the after the bloodstone? Uh, I mean, he also needs a BKB, so yeah, that's a good point too. He probably won't bother. Oh, kinetic field, static storm. In comes the Ember Spirit. Glimpsed out there. He's gone. Does oh, he dodged. Oh my God, oh, that was that was what? sick. He dodged it with a slide of fist. That's insane. Earth Splitter goes down as well. So much damage coming out. We do see two down already and a buyback on the Doom. Third goes down. Madden. But there's no Ravage. Uh, this buyback was... He has Doom, though. That's probably, that's why he bought back. But yeah. there's no Ravage. I don't think they can take this fight now. Yeah, I don't think they can take this fight either. There's a Meg... Oh, and he's stuck. Oh, looks like they're going to go for the Morphling once again. Maybe they're trying here. Yeah, yeah Doom stuck in the trees. Yeah. That happened to me once. It's really embarrassing. No, that happened to me a couple times, actually. Oh, really? In pubs, being pubs and like oh, yeah. winning the game and stuff. And then I just blink in the trees and I chrono and I can't oh, see man. anything. 
No, I've done dumb stuff like that. I've like, you know, like when you like you're a melee and you want to kill the warden the, like on the cliff to so jump up. Then like a team fight happens and you're like, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, mostly uh, catching up a little bit though. He's not dying lately. He has, he's he's Lincoln, slowly so. catching up there. Dinkins coming to him, I think. Yeah, Lincoln's coming to him. He needs yeah. that so badly. Finally, they have a mech on uh, the side. That mech made a lot of difference in uh, the, all the previous fights. Yeah. Sambi had a pretty had a pretty good game. So damn, he really wanted these creeps, man. Yeah, he wanted to commit to those creeps. But yeah, that 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 side that uh. Glimpse started with side of fist. That was pretty sick. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I didn't. I was not sure you could do that. Yeah, I know you can dodge like any kind of projectile, but this or well, like anything. But I didn't know you could just cancel this. Yeah, I mean, like, even to know like when you should be doing it as well is another thing. Like, because it happens so quickly, and like, glimpse, you don't know when glimpse is going to end either. It was weird. Unless you can see the where it goes. Unless, yeah, know. unless you have full vision of where it's going. Like, yeah. Yeah. that is really cool. That's something yeah. to remember. Uh, battle free on uh, Ember. Uh, He's getting the farm, that's for sure. 600 golds and uh, there's three heroes bottom. I guess they want to try to pressure this tower. Or at least bait with the storm. Yeah. Like, Poker Face are all five top, man. They're on the tier one. They, they finally want a tower. This is going to be their first tower of the game if they can get it. Nice Echo Storm. And at the same time, split push from uh, Storm Sword down bottom. Yeah. I think they're just going to let this one go. They have, yeah. the, uh, they have the Elder up there as well to kind of slow things down. And also Moonlight Shadow. So they're trying their best here. At Lift enables. There's Mirana up top as well now too. Nice arrow. Mm, just misses. Yeah, yeah they, they know they, they have Ravage and Boom, so they're not gonna try. Gonna, oh my god! Oh, he got the deny. Beautifully done. Oh my god, this, this is pretty bad, man. That was insane. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it already doesn't. Towers don't give as much gold as before, so if you get denied. That's just really Yeah. And yeah. they were like five for this. Yeah, that's crazy. That is so much time and gold lost. Yeah. Uh, that's three towers down uh, for Poke Face and one down for MVP now. One denied tower down. Yeah. Maybe well, Baby caught out. Two spirits doing work here. A lot of damage coming down. Has to trigger the Ravage. Yeah, oh, whoa, turns whoa, around. Oh, it misses both of them though. Kinetic goes just a little too late. Uh, that was kind of hard to hit. Though. That was hard to hit. And uh oh, looks like Ember is going to go down. Storm Spirit, you got to get out of there, buddy. We'll get out. They wasted a lot for that though. Ravage, Doom. Yeah, they used everything for this. They, used, they, they dropped everything. That's 4, 8, 5. He's the guy that missed the Kinetic Field, in case you were wondering. Yeah, right there. Right, there. right there, that's him. Nah, but uh, I mean, he couldn't like, catch both and be sure they would not get out. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was it, it was it ambitious. He yeah, was yeah, ambitious, he, he right. could have just uh, focused on this. If, he, if sure. he if he got both, he would be a god. No, like, that was all. Would, like, uh, I don't people think would say his names in the streets of Korea. <laughs> shout him, shout him from the rooftop, you know. Yeah, but no, that was a uh, oh, try, man. You gotta try. Yeah, you gotta try. Pipe him inside. I'm lying for the Elder Spirit now. Elder Titan, not Spirit. Already has pipe? He has pipe. Well, wow, it's really fun. Yeah, he's got, really fun. he's got some good fun. In he's like uh, almost tied with the Storm Spirit ahead of the Doom. Yeah, he's got an impressive amount of farm, yeah, actually. Here uh, we he go has again. a really good time. It's for the uh, first levels where uh, you had the 1v1 match up with like two supports. Yeah. Uh, putting pressure by being off the map. And here we go. Five man down bottom. Looks like they want to pressure this tier two. Ten man down, down bottom very soon. Ten man. Ten man down bottom. Oh, Morphling get caught out. Has to wait for him. Damage, man. Arrow just whiffs. So does the Echo Stomp. That tier two is almost in die range. Yeah, they might, they might have to. They don't have Ravage. They, they have Doom, but they, they don't, don't have Ravage. They're going to try to deny it. They're going to be very careful. They're going to try and deny it. And they might be able to. Oh, oh. that Echo Stomp. MP managed to take it to deny but Get to the knife. But the damage, the team fight is here. Doom goes down, actually. Uh, but oh, what a team fight. Two down already for Poker Face here. They're trying to run for their lives here, Doom. Trying his best here. He's, he's, he's going to get away, maybe. No. Storm Spirit says no. And Jubei survives too. Jubei survives as well. Five. 
five alive to the two. Oh, five alive to the two, and they are going to be working on the high ground. Things are looking good for MVP Hot Six this game, that's for sure. Yeah. Quite the turnaround. The huge fight, like, it was like a two, 2,600 gold swing. No, 2,400. And, uh, are they gonna get? No. Doom ends up falling again. Doom went down again, and here comes the last ra uh, first racks. Yeah, 26 minutes into the game, like. 26 minutes in, and it uh, looks like they are gonna commit there. About in his back. They're gonna pull back here, same with Morphling. Yeah, they're kind of low mana. They had a little bit more mana. Maybe they stick around. Yeah, they stick around. They, they don't have any arcanes on the team. That's that's one of the problems. Uh, neither Mirana nor uh, Shadow Demon really went for it. Like maybe Dubu should get one now. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna have a lot of mana problems otherwise, like they had here. Yeah, I think so. But. Quite the commanding lead now. One tier three down, and they did a lot of work on the Raxes. Somehow MP pulled ahead in net worth doing all that. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Yeah, he didn't die. The he didn't die. He managed to just. I was just free farming, trying to farm the whole time, trying to farm some space. He has a Yasha, 1600 gold. Let's see if he's gonna get the same build as a Jube. That didn't work out too well for them. But yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll could see. Get, it's a different game. There's no PA. Yeah, no PA, no, no Reaper Scythe. So. Yeah, those are the two but big things. But there's an ET, though. There's an L Titan. This, this is even worse for a Morphling. So yeah. the, the biggest counter to Morphling is uh, ET, you know, I think. Yeah, kind well. of the same for Terror Blade. Uh, ET is extremely good against Terror Blade. Yeah. The same thing. He has a huge, uh, huge amount of armor. Um, with a natural order, it takes so much damage and already has a low HP pool, so. Illusions too take uh, so much more damage as if they would not taken enough in it already since the last patch. Yeah, it's very true here. And Doom going to a BKB, so it's gonna be everybody's gonna be going to BKB. Everyone's getting BKB. That Morphling, uh, Morphling will have to see. Tide, no, no blink, no four staff yet. For the I think, I feel like he should go for a blink. I really want to see a blink on the Tide Hunter. I feel like it, the the four staff just doesn't do enough. In my opinion, Sam. Yeah, it was for them last game, though. It did her, it did her right. And right. Now, now he also, like, they needed the mech, they needed the, they needed the arcanes, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I can, I can, I understand. They're not really gonna fight, they're gonna get jumped anyway by the storm and uh, the initiation from the Ember Spirit, mm -hmm. the follow up from the Elder Titan, so they, they can't just wait for them to jump in, then ravage Doom and Static Storm and then turn it around. Yeah. I think they're, they're not. Looking to initiate too much. Both sides playing pretty defensively at this point. There's Rogi farming away the mud golems. Worst thing in the game. Yeah, just waiting for the next item. They're waiting for the BKB on Storm. Uh, probably the Daedalus on Ember. He's like 1800 away from it. Um, you know, we've seen next to no attempt on um on Rusha in this game at all, and Stormfur yeah. is actually going toe to toe with Morphling there. They don't have good lineups for this. None yeah. of them. Like, MVP cannot really take Roshan. Uh, nobody to tank it. Nobody to do damage to it. Yeah. It's a uh, Pokeface might have a slightly better time, but still, they don't have the best lineups at taking out buildings and Roshan. Yeah, that's true. That's why. That's why it's going. Uh, Pretty late. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a late game, unless we see a Rax go down in the uh, yeah. very fairly soon. I feel like it's going to go late. I mean, that game I would uh, I would favor Hot Six, but uh, again, is when there is a, a Doom in the game, you not you can't really count them out because as soon as he has, like he doesn't have Ax yet, though, obviously. But when he gets Ax, he can completely shut down one hero, and then it's going to be okay. More fling with the. Uh, the more thing against uh, yeah, Storm and Ember plus ET support, and ET does a huge work against uh, Morphling, as I said. Yeah. So I'm really worried about the late game uh, for uh, Poker Face. Like Morphling, he's gonna, he might die to like, one crit from Ember and just, just dies. Yeah, that's true. So we are gonna see finally a Roshan attempt here. Has taken the time. They do have, they, they have some reasonable damage there. Yeah, but I mean, who's gonna take it? 
He's going to tank it. Looks like Ember is it currently. Uh, has Pokeface realized anything yet? That's the next question. Yeah, not yet, but I think they're going to gather and maybe smoke. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, going to be quick though. Roshan is getting pretty low. Yeah, they're going now. They realize. They're, they're all like, missing. Oh my god, everyone's missing. Yeah. Remnant goes down. See, Ember outside. Kind of just harassing. Oh. Could, he's going to try to snatch it. Is I think he actually try and snatch it? I think he will. Oh. Uh, they killed it. Okay. They killed it. It's all good. And Stormspirit picks it up. Uh, and this is the best, one of the best heroes to have a ninja son. Yeah, he can go yellow now. BKB online for Doom as well. Not going to have the biggest impacts though. Yeah. I agree completely. And uh, looks like we are going to finally see a push down mid lane. Tier 2 under threat. Going to make use of that Aegis nice and early here. Yeah, not wasting time. Ward sees all. I mean, at least they can use the Doom on the Amber now. It's, uh, Storm has it, so he's not going to get Doomed. Yeah. They might do it just uh, Doom him and ignore him. Yeah, that's true too. He, uh, he becomes pretty useless without uh, any sort of skill, that's for sure. Yeah. Looks like they're just going to let it go. They're going to actually just give up this tier 2. Defend the high ground. Give Doom some... Uh, Oh wait, Doom's actually going to get caught out here. He's actually going to have to TP out, and he does. Yeah, yeah he's just going to stall. He's just going to let Morphin get some space. Trying to finish his items uh, yeah. before the high ground push comes. He has his Manta if he wants it. Or uh, maybe not. I think he's going to go for a Skadi, actually. He's not going to go for a Manta. There's no reason getting a Manta now, especially against a member that's better for it. We're just helping him doing this. <laughs> There's value, Asha, and... Uh, we're gonna get it later too, when they need to speed push a little bit more. Mm. So we're gonna see her uh, quite possibly a push down bottom again. So you see kind of everyone hit, staying in the uh, radiant jungle, but yeah, they're starving uh, poker face now. He's starving okay. it out, containing and applying constant pressure. Like MVP only lost one tower the whole game. Yeah, that was a tower with the and it was denied too. It was a denied tower. Yeah, they their goal lead is. Quite significant at this point. Yeah. Only more thing has any kind of farm. Like even their support Marana is like on, on, on par with their tight hunter and not very far behind their doom. Yeah. So it's not looking good for them. Yeah, not at all. It's just about finding that team fight their way in to the racks. This is what's gonna happen. Morphing is top. He's gonna Morphing is top. Uh, Ember is not here, he doesn't have a remnant, so he has to walk all the way there. He's got a Daedalus now, actually. So he's uh, doing some sick, sick damage now. Hey, here we go again, finally a push. Up in the racks is here. A lot of damage going to the top racks. Uh, oh, they for this. Yeah. They want to keep as much yeah, as Ember is not here that yet, though. But just very, very loose harassment there. They don't know exactly where he is, so... It's like the Storm Spirit's low siege. Relax. Yep, Storm Spirit siege. I mean, if they try and jump him, he'll just get out of there. Unless he gets doomed, of course. But that's not a bad thing either. Okay, I'm please gonna kill this creep wave and then I think relocate back to the base and come join the fight. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna do it now. No? No, I think he has to. No, he's just gonna let it go. I look at things. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so free racks for MVP. MVP I mean, yeah, well, I mean they, they probably cannot fight this. There's an Aegis on the storm. Uh, you can see the one you want to do, but not with an Aegis. Yeah, not with an Aegis. Yeah, uh, so it's uh, an Aegis for Rax basically. But they're gonna, they're gonna last very much longer. Went for that disruption. Couldn't get it. No, with Lincoln's there. Sir? That's the first lane of Rax down. Yeah, and Scotty on the Morphling. Gaddy finally on Morphling. Maybe Morphling will actually be out of stock going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of these people. Uh, we yeah. have not seen much uh, success from him this game as well as last game. Yeah. I last mean, game he, was, he, was, he actually got pretty beefy and he was doing pretty well, but like, just wasn't enough compared to the, uh, the Reaper Scythe and the PA. Uh, was, oh. Whoa. Bit of a whiff there. Uh, I think it was just to prevent Stone from jumping him, I guess. <laughs> he was really scared. Maybe, yeah. And here we go again. Looks like we are going to be trying for the, the uh, mid lane. Oh, and they do they actually catch out the uh, Tide Hunter? No, they don't. Yeah, they did. Oh, they're not going to be able to finish him. Uh, oh, maybe. oh, maybe they are actually. One more right well, click. Abaddon, just oh. keep him alive. 
through Avatar. all this, and it's a BKB on, from Storm. Yeah. That's not up. They're gonna wait. For, they can uh, store, wait for the ages to run out, then they can come back and fight with Ravage. And yeah, Storm's absolutely. gonna die. Ravage and Doom, and Storm is dead. And I, I don't know if there is much. I don't know exactly how long they have left on this Aegis. It's the sure. biggest question. Yeah, that is the biggest question of all. Yeah, they're not willing to give it away though. They do uh, quite some considerable damage. Oh. 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 Nope. Nope. No Static Storm because he kind of wasted it bottom lane. Uh, his Static Storm was a kill. Unless he could do that. Try to freeze dodge again. Yeah, that would be crazy. MVP hot six, finding what they can. Did quite a lot of damage to that tier three on the high ground. So when they come back, they'll be able to finish it off, no doubt about that. But uh, still, very very patient play from both teams, and yeah. uh, they're just kind of like relying on this morphling to get the farm they need, so he can just right click down everyone. But I don't know if he's gonna get there, man. Uh, it's so hard against an ET. Like, it really counters morphing pretty hard. Yeah, like yes, he cannot. Fire, he gets one side of fist. If there's a crit, he's like almost dead with the uh, natural older. Mm. Just to be very careful. Maelstrom for Marana now as well. So she's been finding a little bit of farm. Come becoming that, that semi carry. Yeah. That's why, too, I think uh, late game MVP definitely has. Oh, here we go. Disruption goes down. Look at this. But he's going to get out. Look at the story sticking just from the. Just disappears. Just the illusions from the disruption. Yeah. Doing a lot of damage. That's also one of the good thing about uh, Shadow Demon. Uh, all the heroes that could a lot of stats like Morphling, the damage is based on the stats, so when you make illusions out of it, they're very, very strong. Mm. Stomp mid. Nice stomp mid. Abaddon is there to keep him healed. Both teams are still playing very defensively here. They're going for that safety farm. Not looking for picks or anything like that. They don't want to be too aggressive. Yeah, they're being very careful. And they're still... Uh, I think it's like, okay, they, they got the big on tide, at least now. So they can initiate instead of just waiting for uh, MVP to jump them. So if they, if they see an opening now, they have, might have a opportunity to... Uh, take advantage of it. Maybe catch someone by surprise. Yeah. But they still, they still, I don't know if they... Sh well, I mean, they showed it now, but... They never used it. And uh, Storm uh, probably going for hacks to 1200 goals away from it. Once he gets it, uh, uh, Raji. Raji, you cannot, you cannot man mode the Morphling. Oh, the arrow though. Oh, well, Going to make things very, very possible here. I don't think they have enough damage before he gets out with the replicate though. Oh, they're trying so very, very hard, and nope, it's not enough. Yeah, it was enough. I mean, it's very hard to kill Morphling. They're only two. They don't have that much damage. If ET was here, I think they can get the kill. Yeah, I think so too. It's definitely one thing they were missing. ET just has not been in uh, in position for these kind of things. And now we're going to see the final tier 2 become under siege here. Finally, but truly. While the split push from the Emperor's bottom is happening. Yeah, and second is the lane that's already lost the racks. So, yeah. yeah, so it's going to create a lot of pressure on the uh, tier 4s. Yeah. He's simply just getting as much farm as he can. And we're trying to get real big. Yeah, and uh, what is he getting next? Maybe another Daedalus? Another Battlefree? Oh, he's going for Lincoln's? Oh, maybe Lincoln's after the Doom. So what about what about a Scatty? I mean, he, you know, I think he's going to get Lincoln's. I mean, he's going to help against Glimpse, because Glimpse is one of the ways he's going to die. He gets yeah. Glimpse back in. That's true. And if he gets Doom, and. Uh, Lincoln solves both of these problems. Mm. They don't really have that many other spells. Yeah. They have Gush, Level Death. Nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's like nothing like. If he sees his Lincoln's be triggered, he gives us Remnants away. That's so true. Really fine. Right. I don't like Scuddy that much. Like, I mean, in their position, they can get. It's it's fine, I guess, but like. They need the Ember to do the damage though, so they can't uh, invest too much into defensive items or uh, they're gonna be a point where Morphling won't really be dying anymore. Yeah, that's what you see. But then again, uh, Elder Titan, so Morphling is always gonna be squishy. Like 
Morana too, like uh, getting some good pop. She has a blink too. Uh, the blink she has a blink her. dagger. I've, <laughs> I have never seen Morana with a blink dagger before. <laughs> but uh, to each their own. And it looks like we're going to see a smoke. Finally, we're going to see some more aggression from Hot Six here. We still have the Elder Titan up top there, so. I mean, I guess he's kind of helping split push while they yeah. look for a pick here. If they could get the Tide Hunter, it could be huge, absolutely huge. But he's kind of being on the defensive yeah, here. It's big. Oh, but simply, it's just got to be enough here. Where huge damage going down. He drops the Ravage, but there's already BKB activated. I'm not going to follow it up there. Well, yeah. now they can go back in. They can just oh. say, okay, they ping Roshan. They want ping Roshan. Roshan. Yeah, okay, no Ravage. Let's go Roshan. They have no, no Ravage. Roshan. Roshan. All right, that makes a lot of sense actually. Man. Especially when you have a hero like a uh, Storm, it's perfect for uh, ca carrying the Aegis. Oh yeah. This is definitely going to trigger more aggression if they can pick this up without too much worry. Buy space for, uh, buy time for MP though. He's already 4,800 golds saved up, so he could. Uh, I'm kind of curious what he's gonna get. Like it's very difficult to itemize against this. Because I mean, Elder Titan again, like, so good in this moment. Yeah, and Ember is going to pick this one up. Okay, okay. that works too. Can't complain. From here, what's their next move? Are they going to go for another uh, push on the high ground? Or are they simply going to be defended and uh, just a wait? I think uh, Morphing Green needs to, be, to do a ton of uh, physical damage. Make sure uh, Ember like, dies or uh, wh whoever is in range. Like, he has a Scaldi so they can't run away, so he needs to be able to kill them. They might go for a butterfly. Yeah, maybe. Could go butterfly, could go Daedalus, but I wouldn't get Daedalus now, I no, guess. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't think of Daedalus. Like I would butterfly is pretty good. Yeah, I I've seen butterfly plenty before on Morphlings. But the only problem is, like, again, like, uh, the, the armor you get from butterfly is nullified. Yeah. Uh, at least you get, like, some evasion. Yeah, you get the evasion, which is going to be very good against uh, both Storm and uh, Ember. Yeah. And Murana too at this point. She's starting to get some damage. Yeah, right, look at this. Here yes. we go. They're going right in. Doom goes down instantly. Gets brought back. Same with Disruptor. And Tidehunter. He is deep as well. He's very, very low here. And we are going to see him go down as well. Three down, three buybacks so far. They're going ev all out at this point. If they lose, Doom is dead again. Die back. And Tidehunter, he's going to join him. And he does. Wow, Fibi dies too. Wow. The Aegis is still here though. The Aegis is still here. Two diebacks. A nice glimpse there, but not going to be enough for Remnant to solve its problems. And from here, I think they can pretty much start working on the uh, on the racks. Uh, it should be game though. It should be game. I mean, they still got that Morphling. Morphling can still do a lot of work. Oh, so it's like gonna we're going to see the Aegis kind of maybe finally get yeah, triggered Yeah, he got a BKB, so he can actually do this in man fight. But he can actually man fight, but is it too late? Is it too late? Oh, he's so trying to get out. Oh, the kinetic field. No. Nope. Just he goes down. And he does have a buyback. But he's not using it. He uses it now. But to what end? Oh, and a nice little pick off there on the disruptor. Okay. Oh. Wave bombs in. He wanted to kill her. He's tried his best here. Oh, he's going to go down again, and that's GG. Yeah. Very well played from Hot Six to kind of take revenge and take back a game. So far in Tier 1, we've seen every team go one and one against each other. Yeah. What a competitive season. Yeah, man. This, uh, this time, though, I think it was they got heavily outdrafted. Yeah. Uh, the the other Titan was so huge. Like, that pick just made the game so easy for, uh, so much easier for MVP because Morphling, what is he going to do? He has no armor, man. He's no, no armor. armor. HP. He's like, he cannot even he's, fight. He's just going to have to fight in, like, strength spec, man. He's going to have yeah. to, like, man mode it with, with, <laughs> with yeah, no yeah. damage. And he had so good synergy with the uh, Ember Spirit. who could set up the Echo Stomp, uh, Earth Spitter, etc. And that's how they took the high ground there. Yeah. Set up his Searing Chain, and then Storm jumps in, Erotasm drops everything, and Way too easy much. fight. Yeah. Very, very nicely done there. Great games today, actually. Yeah. 네, 포커페이스와 MVP 하식스의 정말 치열한 두 접전이었습니다. 여러분, 양팀 선수들에게 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네, 이제 더 이상 KDL 티어 원 그룹의 경기는 한 경기 한 경기 결, 경, 결과를 예측할 수 없을 정도로 정말 치열한 접전이 계속되고 있습니다. 그럼 양팀 선수들의 주장 선수들을 모셔서 인터뷰를 진행해 보도록 하겠습니다. 수고하셨습니다. 올라오세요, 페비 선수. 수고하셨습니다. 네, 페비 선수 축하드립니다. 아, 마이크 제가 대드릴게요.
오늘 두 경기 모두 아쉽게 첫 경기에서는 패배를 했지만 지난번 MVP 피닉스와의 경기도 그렇고 오늘 포커 페이스와의 경기도 그렇고 MVP 아식스에게 가장 주목해야 할 점은 1경기 패배 이후에도 잃지 않는 집중력이라는 거죠. 정말 높은 한타 집중력으로 이 경기를 차분하게 또 승리를 이끌어 가셨어요. 그 원동력 어디서 나오는 걸까요? 어 그냥 이제 저희가 연습해왔던 거니까 이제 각자가 이제 할 일을 다 알고 이제 상황이 어떻게 일어나든 그냥 각자의 할 일에 이제 집중을 하고 할수 있는 것만 하다 보니까 그렇게 된것 같아요. 어, 1경기 불꽃령을 쓰셔서 이제 패배를 하셨는데도 불구하고 2경기를 또 불꽃령을 선택해서 승리를 하셨어요. 특별히 불꽃령을 이렇게 계속 픽을 하신 이유가 있을까요? 어, 그냥 이제 그 불꽃령이라는 네. 캐릭터 자체가 원래 좀 좋고 그 다음에 저희, 그 저희 팀에 이제 그 불꽃령을 잘 쓰는 이제 선수가 이제 둘이나 있어요. 그래서 잘 쓰는 캐릭터를 이제 좀더 연구를 하고 이제 그걸로 통해서 이길 수 있는 방법을 이제 많이 찾아낸 것 같습니다. 네. 이제 티어 원의 강팀이라고 불리던 MVP 피닉스 포커 페이스를 차례로 한 경기씩 이렇게 꺾어 나가시는데 다음 경기가 또 레이브예요. 어떻게 준비하실 건지 레이브를 또 어떻게 꺾어 나가실지 너무 궁금해요. 어 일단은 시간이 이제 2주라는 시간이 많이 있고 그 다음에 어, 그 시간 동안 이제 저희의 약점이라든지 그런 걸 이제 리플과 이제 친구들이랑 같이 얘기를 하면서 이제 나눠보고 좀더 그걸 보완해 나가는 식으로 네, 그런 식으로 준비할 겁니다. 네 다음 경기에서도 멋진 모습 부탁드립니다. 네 감사합니다. 수고하셨습니다. 네 수고하셨습니다 베비 선수. 아, 네. 음. 사실 이 경기에서는 아쉽게 패배를 하셨지만 1 경기 아 오랜만에 정말 포커 페이스답게. 전투력으로 멋지게 승리하는 모습을 봤어요. 네. 오랜만에 KDL에서의 승리, 감회가 남다르셨을 것 같은데 어떠세요? 어, 어, 이 경기를 줘서 많이 아쉽고요. 네. 첫 경기는 뭐 연습하던 대로 됐는데 좀더덜 나온 것 같기도 해서 좀이 경기도 솔직히 많이 안타깝습니다. 이 경기는 안타까운 모습 안타깝게 이제 패배를 하셨지만 사실 사펠프로 선수가 이번에 시즌4에서 처음 합류를 했잖아요. 처음 합류한 것 치고는 굉장히 호흡이 경기력에서 완벽하게 호흡이 맞는 모습을 보였어요. 새롭게 해서 합류된 사펠프로 선수 어떠세요? 주장으로서. 어, 팀, 외에서, 팀 외에서도 막 어, 친하게 지내고 같이 게임도 하던 사이라서 이렇게 좋은 호흡이 나올 수 있었던 것 같아요. 사팔프로 선수도 이제 오늘 포커페이스에서 이제 합류해서 경기를 하셨는데 소감이 어떠신지 짧게 한 말씀 부탁드릴게요. 아, 좀 긴장도 많이 했던 것 같은데 아무래도 1티어에서 처음으로 경기를 하다 보니까 그래도 연습을 많이 해가지고 저희끼리 뭐 호흡이나 좀 당황하거나 서두르지 않고 잘했던 것 같아요. 네, 다음 경기도 레이브할 경기가 이제 준비가 돼 있는데 다음 경기에서도 멋진 모습 또 부탁드릴게요. 네, 수고하셨습니다. 감사합니다. 양팀 선수들에게 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드릴게요. 네, 이렇게 해서 KDL 시즌4 2회차 경기 결과 티어2에서는 로테미, 티어1에서는 포커페이스와 MVP 하식스가 각각 1승씩을 거뒀습니다. 끝으로 여러분께 이번 주 퀴즈를 드리겠습니다. 오늘, 경, 오늘 문제는 오늘 티어, 티어1 두 경기에서 포커페이스 선수 중 가장 많은 킬수를 기록한 선수는 누굴까요? 정답을 아시는 분은 스포티비 게임즈 공식 페이스북에 댓글을 남겨주시면 저희가 정답자에 한해 또 추첨을 통해 문화상품권과 영화 예매권을 드리도록 하겠습니다. 극강의 한타 KDL 시즌4 그럼 저희는 11월 9일 일요일 오후 1시 30분에 티어2의 테나이와 비마이너 그리고 티어원의 MVP 피닉스와 레이브의 경기로 다시 돌아오겠습니다. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you again next week for more KDL. See you next time.